episode number nine. I think we're gonna be just fine. What a beautiful sunrise. Wow. Look at the sun go. Well, actually, you don't even see the sun yet. But, um. I just. I don't know why it always turns off the volume. Here we go. I had the full sunrise. Look at that, the sky is getting slightly brighter. <laughs> this is a long process. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Let me just, I'll check the other side. <laughs> No, there's no, there's not even windows on the other side. Um, yeah, it's coming up slowly. Oh yeah, the sun, it's coming. I can see it, kind of. <laughs> Hello, this is Biffy Builder eighty eight, and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the sunrise really quickly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're gonna um, uh, go back into the nether portal soon and we shall. Oh! I got my torch. Jeez. Um, maybe now. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. It's getting brighter as we speak. Oh man! <laughs> Sunrise! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Heaven's sakes! I see you. I know you're coming up. <laughs> Sunrise! <laughs> wow. Never guess I would take this long. Um so yeah, we're gonna need to get some glowstone and Yeah, we're gonna need glowstone. Why is there so many zombies? Oh, oh yeah. Hey, I need to put a roof on there. Um, I now have like these rooms without roofs. Another one? <laughs> oh, sunrise! Oh, we can see the sun. Oh, let me do it from the window there. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, we're done. <laughs> um, that's awesome. I just, I literally went on my world and thought, I need to add this into my video. <laughs> the sun's rising. <laughs> so we got a clock, got a compass. Pretty good. Um, gonna need glowstone. And we're gonna need another cool thing that you'll see in a minute. When we get there. Yeah. Actually, let me just change this wood into a chest. 
There we go. Now we got a double chest. And now... If you're wondering, this is my storage room. Um... Crafting and storage. Let, let me just see. Did I get any leather? Yeah, I got four leather. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna use that for this next part. This, if you're wondering, is how to make an item frame. You just put leather in the middle. Put sticks around. Get an item frame. Unless maybe I showed you that already. I'm, I don't think so, though. I don't think I showed you. But yeah, so now I got two item frames. Um, let me just get some more sticks. Another 20. Okay. Did I ever show you guys how to make fence? I think I may have, but not sure. Now I got four item frames. Um, plunk, 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 plunk. Okay. So then in here, I'm gonna put an item frame there. Gonna put an item frame right here. And I'm gonna put an item frame here and here. Yeah, or no, there. For heaven's sakes! <laughs> so of course it's the cooking and smelting room, the area where the mobs get eaten and cooked and stuff. But then also where I make my shelf some pretty cool gear. Yeah. But yeah. Actually, no. The pretty cool gear is in the crafting. Um. Adventuring, naming, and preparation. Um. Okay. How much iron do I have? Wow, I have a lot of iron. And I got some blocks, too. Okay. Right. What you're about to see is how to make something very special. Put three blocks of iron. Then do that. You get yourself an anvil. An anvil. Very, very cool. You can place it and it falls. And when you right click it, you can name your stuff. And also enchant them with enchanted books. If you find them in dungeons. Or just make them yourself with an enchantment table. Like this one right here. <laughs> um, let me just see what can I do. Um, you can do multiple enchantments too. So, um, projectile protection one. Okay. Um, see that. I'm breaking. Well, that's good. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in there. Put that in there. Put that right there. Now, I'll just do the unbreaking. And I'll get this diamond pickaxe. So, if you want to get an unbreaking diamond pickaxe, then all you do is you get your diamond pickaxe or actually actually you know what um i'm gonna do it on this um iron pickaxe just because i'm gonna do something else with the with the um diamond pickaxe so you do this and look at this so you get an iron pickaxe get the unbreaking enchantment book it, it works with any enchanted book and you get an iron pickaxe unbreaking. What I can also do is I can rename it right here. Um let's see, I'll name it I'll name it the um 
Oh man. Uh, the... Why did I actually do it on an iron? <laughs> well, no, I guess I guess it works pretty well. But yeah, so um, the the Java. <laughs> Uh, I'll name it, um, the, um, the Piffy X. <laughs> the Piffy X. The Piffy X, that's cool. Oh, dang it. I don't have enough. See, as you, as you could see with the, with the, um, so, with this, it costs you um, EXP when you do it, and same as this costs EXP. So I had 19 levels. Now I'm down to like <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm down to seven because I used up that stuff. But yeah, so I'm gonna oh. books are also meant for one other thing. If you do this, I'm just making a bunch of them. Um, oh my god, for heaven's sakes. Okay. Yeah, if you do this, then you make yourself bookshelves. And you get the achievement librarian. Now with bookshelves, you want to put them around your um, enchantment table. I'm not putting them around yet, because I'm going to move the enchantment table. And when you break a bookshelf, oh man, <laughs> it just turns to three books. And then that's kind of a waste of wood. So, um... Yeah. So here is where I'm gonna put the enchantment table right there. And yeah. Oh, there's one other thing I can make. Um. If I put iron like this, and you just. I'm gonna make um, four. Oh my god. Um, hey. Right. If you put it like that, you get a cauldron. I just got four cauldrons. So now, I shall put them right inside here voila <laughs> and this is infinite water so I think I'll show you how to like what the cauldron what you're supposed to do with the cauldron so um so you saw how I got these two glass balls from a witch so I got the glass bottles. If you want to make a glass bottle, then you just do three glass bottles right there. You get three glass bottles. I mean, three glass right there and three glass bottles. Now I have five glass bottles. Now what you do is you um, get your bucket and... Grab some water. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Um, and you fill it up right there. And then, fill that up. And then, fill that up. And then you fill that up. And there we go. You got. I'm all filled up with water. 
just like that. And then what you do is you right click and you get a water bottle. Now this, I'll show you what you do in a second. Is this isn't just the enchanting room? It's also the brewing room, and brewing is pretty cool. You'll find. I'll show you that once we get some awesome tools for brewing. So our first brewing is the um, cauldron. Now we got. Whoop! That's not what I want. Cauldron, and now we got even more stuff like the um, like the bottles and and then the enchanting yeah so um so yeah um yeah i'm gonna have to see you guys in a second in fact i'll just i'll just go to bed <laughs> and i'll see you guys in a second so bye for now Um, <laughs> you know, I, bye for now. Hello, I'm back. So, let's just finish up this awesome episode. Why does it always do that? <laughs> okay, portal room. Um, cooking and smelting. Hey, you know what? Um, okay, it's lagging like heck. <laughs> hey, what I really need to do? I need to go to the nether. Wrong way. It is lagging like heck. <laughs> ah, it's lag. Okay. Here we go. Gasty wasty gas. Gasty, gasty, gas. Got a little bit of nether quartz. Got a little bit more nether quartz. Got a little bit more nether quartz. Okay. Okay, um let me just check the lag. Oh god. Where is that guest? Actually I'm looking for glowstone. Looking for other stuff too, but oh, glowstone! Oh, and the other thing I was looking for. Oh my gosh, all in one. Oh jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. It's nether brick. Nether brick galore. Look at that. Gonna need this stuff. It's awesome. And this leads up to some really cool things. Oh my gosh. I'm going to use this nether brick for my roof. Doesn't that sound awesome? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to have to like, I don't know, let's see. Um, I'll put down like some dirt um, right here. Just make a dirt pathway. Okay. Uh, 
Soul Sand too. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Soul Sand galore too. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need this Soul Sand for many things. Look at how fast you just dig it up. Oh my gosh. So cool. Awesome. Okay. Um. Soul sand. Okay. Um. More. More soul sand. Okay, so mushroom, I guess I'll take that. Oh, uh, I don't need that actually. I need to save my room for something better. Okay, just about reached the limit. Okay. Oh no! What am I doing? <laughs> okay. I just need to go grab that glowstone, and I'll feel accomplished. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, that was sad. Why did I jump in that lava in the first place? Oh yeah, my timer went off, and I got distracted, and I fell in the lava. <laughs> Oh my gosh, just let me get up! I need to get that glowstone, and then I feel accomplished for the day because that's one of the main things I wanted to do today was get glowstone. So, it's right here. Get some more dirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. And so close. So close. Okay. Um, you know what? I'll just build a little platform here. I recommend you guys do this too, especially if there's lava, but I'm above ground. I'm just doing it anyway, because I like to do it, to make sure I get it. And I got glowstone. Look at that. Um, I don't know if any of it fell on the ground. Or at least it's the dust, yes. Glowstone dust. Look at that. Glowstone dust, just like that. I have it. Just need to go collect the rest of it that fell. Oh yeah, now I got 29. Wow, 29 glowstone dust. Look at all that glowstone. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. And then there's another brick right there. Wow, this was definitely a great episode. If you put four glowstone dust right there, you get glowstone. I'll need a lot of this. Um, I'll do that. Yeah, that looks good. Now I got four glowstone and now um 
yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys next episode what you can do. I really just ran through that far. So, I guess, I guess, bye for now. And I hope you guys like this episode. And zombie pigmen, they'll only hurt you if you attack them. So, please don't attack them. Unless they're not in hordes, in which case you can attack them. And it will be fine. And then you can just go ahead and grab yourself like a golden sword or something. Or a nugget. Golden nuggets. Drop from zombie pigmen. So, bye guys.